I'm gonna sh my pants. Okay, we need to get started on this because I literally just spent like the last 30 minutes trying to make a damn thumbnail for this freaking video. And it is currently... Come on, show me the time. Do I seriously have that? Come on, you piece of shit. 1.43 p.m. And I'm cleaning my room because I'm cute and I'm quirky and I got me a messy ass room. All right, here's the tea sis besides the garbage man doing garbagey things. So, um, this is my bedroom. That's a door that leads outside the bedroom. This is a door that leads to the bathroom where... <laughs> I don't get me started on that right now. This is my bedroom though. And you may be wondering what the frick happened over here. Like what, what is that yellow staining if my camera will allow me to zoom in? Can you just like cooperate for, yeah, there we go. So here's the tea sis. I live in this thing called the dessert and where that is, the sun is really hot and it basically ruins everything. And that's like six years of deserting on the blinds. Okay. But um, in other news, just... <laughs> you want to see the closet? So my clothes is organized because it's like jackets, pants, short sleeves, long sleeves, dresses, but... <laughs> you may be wondering, what is going on? Why is it so bad? Why are your walls pink? Why is the ceiling blue? I don't know. I'm not a colorologist. Why is the closet so plain? So here's the teeth, sis. I moved and I wanted the room to look different because... I found this on web. Oh my god, that creepy ass bitch always listening. Anyway, here's the tea. This room used to have the nastiest bitch in the entire world. Like, I'm talking about <laughs> disgusting. Like, <laughs> if I, like, showed you a picture of her, I'd be thrown in prison because you'd want to, like, gouge your eyes out and that'd be an accessory to, like, murder or something. But... <laughs> anyway, I wanted the room read because the carpet was, like, caked with ketchup and soda and whoever knows what else things do the walls like i had to like clean the walls the carpet was done with there was mold in the floorboards i had to rip those out replace them with non-moldy floorboards all this shit but luckily the closet wasn't super moldy so i didn't i'm gonna repaint it eventually and i redid the floors just because i wanted it to like all be wood but i don't think there's any closet mold that's good but there was like literally along this floorboard like right there was all mold because I guess there used to be a dresser there and at one point from what I was told she just dropped a glass of milk behind there and let it rot like how do you live with yourself when you're like that I get it my room is bad like this is bad but like nothing is moldy health hazard it's just messy and cluttery so here's the tea sis we're gonna clean this today it's <laughs> like look at this like I have this five thousand dollar mat with like a freaking expensive ass monitor and shit and it's <laughs> what the hell? What is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm so jealous of the people that are getting their trash taken out today because the HOA freaking took my trash cans because I wasn't able to get my trash cans because I was having a bad back day, which is like when my back is like extra fuck you. <laughs> and so they just took my trash can because I didn't get it right after the trash came. So I can't take my trash out. There's this trash piling up in the slab of cement that is called the backyard. I'm not used to this dessert life, but there's no fucking grass anywhere. It's just crazy. Everything's so small and oh my god, I hate this. I don't know where to start in this room because I'm like shit. I hate everything so here's the plan i'm gonna run downstairs grab a trash bag and then i'm gonna put on some gloves not because anything's unsanitary like literally it's just gonna be like hold up these little things they're like little cotton gloves so my hands don't get like irritated because for whatever reason when i grab that stuff too much my nail beds and tips of fingers start bleeding and shit it's gross but i don't want to deal with that so yeah we're gonna wear gloves but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have a trash bag and then i'm gonna have like a papers that for some reason are sent to me because i get a lot of documents because i pay for my own health insurance and i always get those freaking things that are like this is like yes baby boy hold on i always get those things that are like this is what your copay and this is like what it was explanation benefits yeah that's what's cool i always get those and it's like can you not send me these because i'm sure it would save you money but also i really don't want everyone knowing that like, i go to the psychiatrist like all the time because i'm crazy i say as i post this on the internet but anyway yeah let's So, um, yeah, I really don't know where to start. And also, sorry, my camera looks like it's a potato. I know for a fact I brought my 
batteries in my camera charger with me, but for some reason I can't find them. Oh, so where the heck did I put that damn trash bag up? Oh, it's right here. Here's the plan stand. I'm going to start with this. This is a pile of clean clothes. Oh my God, if I can point the camera. Dude, you are a piece of shit. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I think it's because this is just some random ass stand that I found from my phone. So it's just not gonna cooperate. So here we go. This on this chair is a pile of clothes that I washed, but I just never got around to putting away. So I'm gonna put that away right now, just real quick. I don't know why, but I'm like so afraid of hitting myself in the face with this shelf. I haven't, but I have this fear. Yes, baby boy, you wanna come in? Yes, my ginger. I'm not letting your brother in. Fuck him. So this is my ginger. He's very handsome and gingery. This is daddy's shotgun. This is my shoehorn because sometimes I can't bend over because my back. So I just like shoehorn it. Like I'm real sexy. So shut the fuck up. That's really inconvenient. The little hangy thing that's it's supposed to be for like pull-ups or some shit. Not the booty pull-up pants pull-ups, but like the workout pull-ups. But we just painted it so we don't want to ruin it. But I would use it as like a hanger. When I did my laundry, I'm a weak ass girl. But do you think I'm gonna be using pull ups? Well, doing pull ups, using pull ups, maybe. I shit my pants at least twice a week. <laughs> These slow mode sheen shorts are like the best thing in the world. I fucking hate folding clothes here because like half of it's falling onto the floor and even though this is new flooring and it's relatively clean I'm still like super weird about dirt and stuff getting on my clothes I'm so protective of my clothes I'm scared what I'm gonna be like if I ever have a baby because if I'm this protected over she and clothes imagine how I'll be about when I have like a whole ass human being that I birthed from my body should I really be a parent I don't think so I'm just saying like all these people be like oh you'll be a great mom and it's like bitch I barely wipe my own fucking ass like do you really think I'm gonna be good at wiping someone else's ass and before you go oh but it's like different shut the fuck up or then people go like oh you kept your cat alive for like a million years okay and that man literally cleans his own ass okay it is now 13.59 and it's Getting so hot in here. I feel like my sexy bra that's like eight sizes too big for me because God forgot to give me tits, but they gave me nipples and those are sinful, so I have to cover them up. Thanks, I got it from Shein. I like to fill it with crystals as you can kind of tell like right here. That is a literal rock in my titty. But now I am moving on to the floor. The floor, the floor. I'm trying to think of how I can like show me cleaning the floor because it's kind of challenging. As you can see, we have my infamous face toaster. This is a light therapy device used to emit lights to make my skin pretty. That's why I'm so freaking beautiful. This is the name brand one too, so uh, you know I it be, be fly. Then I got a broken bottle of marijuana stuff because I dropped it the other day. This is office supplies. I actually use a lot of office supplies for YouTube because I'm always writing down stuff because it's always a lot of writing if I'm not doing like a live action vlog like how I'm doing now. Oh my god, I have baked juice. You know, I actually quit baking. I have to make a video about that. That was fucking crazy. I'm sorry, this sounds so douchey, but if I can quit, I think anyone can quit. Because I was a monster. I got some flat LaCroix. Let's get to work. tampon applicator stuff. I bought tampons before I went to Mexico. Yes, I went to Mexico. It was sponsored by Canada Dry. I'm just kidding. It's a joke. I did not get sponsored by Canada Dry. The only reason I said that is because like literally half my photos, there's like a Canada Dry bottle in it. If anything, Canada Dry sponsors Mexico. Just like Coke. Damn, that's all they drink there.
So before I went to Mexico, I bought tampons in the United States because my period was supposed to start while I was in Mexico and I was scared that it would start off in Mexico. Then I had to buy Mexican tampons and uh, I was scared because I was told that stuff in Mexico is sketchy. So um, yeah, my period is going to be sketchy up my vagina. But then I found out that stuff in Mexico is actually like the same standards as here. So then I ended up buying a bunch of Retin-A because it's like half the price in Mexico. <laughs> I just have so much shit. Why? This is broken, so I'm just throwing it away. Even though I paid $10 for it and it broke like two days after I got it. I remember my ex-boyfriend would not let me return it for whatever reason. Why does he psycho make a small penis? Oh yeah, did I ever tell you about one of these? It actually worked. I don't know if you can tell, but my ass is looking kind of fat. But also it really helps with knee pain. That's actually the main reason why I bought it. Because it was recommended because I have really bad knee pain. Because for some reason my knees click. And nobody knows why. Because I... I've never been a super phlebic and even though I was a bit bigger when I was younger I was never like I was probably like 30 pounds heavier than I am now which it's not a size zero but it's not like a large she a common you know what I mean so fuck this sword bra finally in the trash where you belong I was just thinking about this the other day this cami I bought at Target I had to buy an extra small but then I have to buy like other things in small or medium because I'm just built so fucking weird why are there no women built like me in advertising it's either like really big girls or like proportional girls or like skinny girls which like I have no problem with people being bigger or smaller than me it's just like where are the girls with no titties and that got that got some you know I don't got flat abs I don't and I got fat ass I don't got no thigh gap like whenever I see girls that have like no tits they always got flat stomachs and like really small waist like I have a 28 inch waist it's not huge but it ain't tiny my ass is like 38 inches round and then my shoulders are like 42 inches round I'm built like a football player man I get nothing but disappointment sometimes This is from when some DTLG guy thought I was into like DTLG and he bought me this. I'm gonna see if I can go with this because there is probably some sweet young child that needs that. This is an off-brand pee cup so I can pee on the go. I'm throwing this away because it literally does not work. There's no pills in this. That's disappointing. Oh my god, this is from 2019. I've literally been carrying around this shit since like 2019. I regret wasting so much money on supplements I like literally never use. I have to throw it away because it's all expired. Also, these Harry's razors, they fucking suck. They just like across my skin. I'm not even that hairy. I don't know why I was thinking getting a razor called hairy, but it's spelled like hairy, like a man. I was supposed to get a man razor. I'm supposed to be better. Women's razors are kind of like a scam or whatever. But like, anyway, those razors fucking suck. They just tear your skin. They are not made for dainty skin. Who's fucking hair brush? This is, a, this is the trash of hair brush. Now. I don't fucking recognize it. And that kind of pisses me I off. On the web. Can you stop e-shopping on me? Oh my god, my back is killing me already. I think I'm having a bad back day, which is not a cute look because I just want to get this shit done with already. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to move on to my desk. My sugar daddy got me a sewing machine. Name brand singer, the heavy duty one, because I guess the heavy duty one can be used with like all fabrics. You just have to like change the needle out and stuff. But I used to be really into sewing, but then like my ex-boyfriends would always like not let me sew because I would sew stuff that would get attention from other men. It wasn't even sexy stuff. It was just like ridiculous costume. Imagine being that insecure you just don't want your woman sticking out like period. You know, my brain wasn't fully developed then. That's my reasoning for staying with them. Literally, people should not be allowed to even leave their house without their parents until they at least like 30. That's the truth. Fight me. And then maybe afterwards, then we can fuck. I really want to get my desk done today before I get too burnt out because Dude, my back is just killing me. I'm gonna consume a marijuana. <laughs> but I deal with like chronic pain every day. And some days are like, yeah, I hurt, but it's tolerable. And other days are just like, I consider euthanizing myself because it's that bad. And today's one of those days where I kind of want to euthanize myself, but I'm not going to because people read my diary and I really don't want people reading my diary. But um, I totally forget where I'm going with this. What the heck is going on on there? Think my titties look fat though. Ew, oh my god, this is so cringy. My sugar daddy obviously he had pest control, but his ex-girlfriend put it under like both of their names 
and for whatever reason probably because she wanted to pretend she was married but she put it under they have the same last name and it's her last name and it's just like you wish <laughs> you nasty ass i don't know what that man was thinking going after her i mean i know exactly what he was thinking that is his choice to roast her maybe he will after the child turns 18 because oh my god that's another thing too i'm just gonna keep my mouth shut for now i don't want to like roast her because god did that enough making her look the way she does because she's so I'm not I'm not sorry. The only person that should be apologizing is like her for trashing the house and God for making her look like that. What did you do in a past life to have God make you look like that? I'm not even trying to be mean. That's probably why she refuses to meet me, even though I'm literally the person that is around her kid the most. Even more than my sugar daddy. Anyway, this stupid fat hoe is just way too afraid to meet me because she's stupid and fat. She's just mad because her ex realized oh my god now that i make more money I, I can actually like be with somebody that's like not fucking hideous and disgusting and gross so he dumped her ass and soon after that he found me it's kind of pathetic she's like fucking deranged and thinks that they're gonna get back together like um <laughs> bitch have you looked at yourself i've seen what you look like without your 500 filters thank you the only reason i don't post a photo of her is not because I'm scared of her. What's her to be scared? I ain't no plate of chicken wings. I don't gotta be scared of her nasty fat ass. The only reason I don't post photos of her is because I don't want y'all unaliving yourselves from seeing that. As I'm spitting everywhere, sorry, I just got my lips dead. This is a bookshelf. Yes. So many layers. Just like an onion. But my main question is, why the heck is there a can of coconut water up there? How long have I been there for? You think a thirsty ass whole like me would have been drinking that that long ass time ago, but nope. Do you like my EKG? I thought it looked like really cool, so <laughs> I framed it. So my plan is just to just basically take everything off the shelf and then put it where it belongs. believe the number of Visalign trays I just have casually laying around and also how are they not all chewed up because I have a couple of plastic loving fiends in my existence and you would imagine since these trays were made of plastic they'd be all over them but nope. I'm thinking about saving all my Visalign trays and like making some sort of tragedy. What would you call an art project? Out of them though because I literally paid thousands of dollars for these just for me to throw them away. Like as if my face being correct looking isn't good enough of a thing to get received with that money. I just had an empty box of nose spray just sitting on my bookshelf. Why? All right, time to basically put the shit back where it belongs. By that, I mean the video ends here, and I honestly don't even remember if I <laughs> recorded me putting the stuff back because it's so long ago when I recorded this because, um, anyway, just stay subscribed. Do more cleaning videos, see more dumb bitch videos, more content from me. Sorry, I've been MIA lately. I am making up for it now. Peace, love, Jesus. And I'll see you soon. Bye.